Frazzled with Rob. Hello, welcome to Frazzled with Rob. Today we have a, a special guest with us. It's Stephanie Rodriguez, a bookkeeper here at Cypress High School. So welcome, welcome to Frazzled. Thanks, I feel very honored to be asked. To yeah, be yeah, you should. Mm-hmm. There's a huge waiting, yeah, a long waiting is. list to be on this show. There is. And yeah, you made it on an early round. I so. know, I don't know how that happened. Have you ever had a Frazzle? No, I have not. So Stephanie has never tasted the Frazzle. So in her Frazzle cup here is some Tiger's Blood Frazzle. So she is going to take that off uh, for her straw and yeah. she's going to get a taste. Let's go ahead. Let's, okay. We'd like to hear oh. you. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. I'll take the garbage. Right, you off. can take a nice drink. And okay. For all of you who have never had a frazzle, mm-hmm. this could be you experiencing <laughs> a frazzle for the first time. Mm. Mm. Straight sugar. It, it is, is sweet. I'm hoping by bringing the real frazzle to these podcasts, you'll be able to see someone get a brain freeze. Because <laughs> <sighs> nothing better than a frazzle brain freeze. Anyway, let's uh, jump on into uh, today's um, episode. So, Stephanie, uh, uh, how long have you been, how long have you been here at Cyprus as a as a bookkeeper? Um, this is starting my third year. Third year, mm-hmm. um, but you're not new to Cyprus. I'm not new to Cyprus. So maybe tell us uh, your background with Cyprus. Well, I graduated from Cyprus. Are we saying the year we graduated? Yeah, that's up, that's up to you. It's, it's okay. clearly way before I did. Um, no, actually, no. You were before me. Mm, so uh, I will probably uh, was say... Was I? Was I? Yeah, class of 87, mm. and you were class of 80. Six, Six. but I was like the Doogie Howser of students here. I was way oh. young, way young when I graduated from Cyprus. Do you know what I really wanted to bring is like an 8 by 10 glossy of a yearbook picture of you. I just didn't have time to prepare. Yeah, you but know... But I do see... Yeah, in that case behind um, Stephanie yes. is my little um, Cypress Memorial uh, setup, where, which has my original leather, Letterman's jacket, and it has uh, my yearbooks from when I was here. Do you have the Brock Bank? Oh, yep. And See, Brock Bank up there. And then, um, and then my Sterling Scholar portfolio is in there. And one oh. thing you'll notice is uh, my attempts back in as a senior to try to grow a mustache, and at 54 almost, I still can't really grow a mustache, so... That's it's never... pretty gray right now, huh? So uh, tell me about, um, so you graduated from Cyprus. Yes, so I graduated in 87. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Went to Brock Bank. And, well, I went to Brock Bank my 7th and 8th grade year. Then we moved to Tulsa. Oh, no. My 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. Oklahoma. And Oklahoma, where the yeah. wind comes sweeping down the plane. Okay. So I came back my senior year. Yeah. So I came back to Cyprus, mm-hmm. graduated from Cyprus. And yep. And uh, you have a family who've gone to Cyprus. I do. I have two kids and they graduated from Cyprus. And uh, the, the most recent just graduated last year. My baby just graduated. Yeah. Just graduated a couple months ago. And uh, now do you have any um, kids at home? I don't. Do you have any four-legged friends at home? I do. So tell us about your, uh, your dog. I have a little Shorky. His name is Milo. And I never thought I would have a dog in the house. Ever. Um, we used to have a chocolate lab. Gracie, she stayed outside. I didn't want any dogs in the house. And then Milo, our little Shorky, uh, my daughter Brindley found him for sale and she needed a little emotional support dog at the time, going through some difficulties. And so we got him, and now I can't imagine life without him. I love him. So he's your emotional he support is dog. My, huh? She wanted to take him to college, and I said no. I need him at home, so, so I have him. So besides working with me, what's been the, the oh, biggest geez. exciting exciting thing about uh, coming back to work at Cypress oh, after having gone here? I compare that. Not <laughs> counting you? Not counting me. What's been the, oh, best the best part of coming back and working at Cypress? You know, well, people will ask me, because this I've, I've worked for the district for 14 years, but this is my first high school. I've been in elementary. What, 11 years. What elementaries were you at? Oh, so I was at Magna Elementary. Yeah. I was, then I went up and helped them open Elk Run Elementary. And then um, in 2015, I went as the principal secretary to Pleasant Green Elementary. 
and then I came here from Pleasant Green. So you're, what you're kind of saying is you can't really hold down a, a job No, about every four or five years. Yeah. So you have me for about another year or two. Yeah, and but, but where gone. do you go from here? I, nothing but up. I don't, I don't know. Nothing but up. Maybe, I, I maybe. would say the district. If there's anyone here who'd like to work in the district, I'll help you um, with that journey yeah. to go to the district. Yeah. So people ask me that, well, do you like Cypress? How do you like the high school? And I have to say, I love it. It's, it's way different. I think it's a better fit for me than elementary. And um, I love the people I work with. That's what makes the, um, the, the, and even the students, I think we've got great respectful students and I love the people that we work with in the office and the teachers. So earlier today, I not asked- the ad, Not this admin. I like most <laughs> of our admin, or most of our admins. Will yeah, uh, I mean, you don't have to mention Robin by name. It's, it's <sighs> I, I know you struggle there, but. Well, Jake's gone, right? Jake's gone. Yeah, Jake is gone. Jake is gone, okay. He's way gone. We can talk about okay, him. Yeah, we then. can. We can talk about We can talk about Jake. Okay. But don't let people here know that it's really Robin and Aaron who do everything on this campus and Kayla and Josh on the other. That's true. He just um, sits here and with my drains frazzle. up the Frazzle podcast. Yeah. And and in the front office, you guys prefer a half sugar. Um yeah, so moving on, Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, today is the day I asked Stephanie if she would do a podcast. I think it's good for uh, the staff to get to know teachers and um, other staff members mm -hmm. that aren't teachers. And so I appreciate you doing this. You said sure. you did ask me for any questions I would do in advance. Yeah, I wanted to prepare, you know. But this is unscripted, so I actually do not prepare any questions. But Shocking. you did say to me, you said, just don't ask me what my hobbies are. So... <laughs> So, what are your hobbies? <laughs> I think I'm a pretty boring person. That's why, I, I, yeah, I might have said not to ask me about my hobbies. But that's not that's not exactly true. You you go on trips with with people. Yes, I love to travel. You know, my my first lifetime, my first career was I was a travel agent. So I love to travel. Every year, my sister and I do a best sisters trip. We go and do that. Take my kids places. I've got some good friends. Where was your last trip? trip? Um, well, we went to Vegas a couple weeks ago. Vegas. Um, but what stays, you know, what happens? Uh, we can't there. talk about we Vegas. Talk about That's Vegas. stayed in Vegas. Stays. Yeah, fair, fair enough. We're frazzles involved. Um, no. This would actually no. Everything was pretty mild. Frazzle would have been on the. How you like the frazzle? Um, it's like a snow cone. It's like a melted snow cone. Yeah, it kind of is like a, a, a snow cone because it is ice mixed with sugar. It's a snow cone. But a lot more juice in it than the snow cone. There's is. way more flavor. Maybe uh, as we kind of wrap up, see, it goes very quick. It does go fast. We're almost yeah. at nine minutes already. So We are? Uh, yeah, we could so, go another nine. So maybe you could end <laughs> with, I don't know, your, something that really stands out, that's unique about you, that you oh. want people to know. Maybe you do it in a song or a poem or... <laughs> <laughs> Other artistic format, dance, I don't, it doesn't matter. But. Well, had I known, I would have brought my tap shoes. We'll save that for another time. Yeah. Do you tap? Have you ever tapped in your life? Serious. Ser yeah, I used to dance. I have my own tap And shoes. tap was your deal. Mm, I don't say it was my deal, but it was part of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. There may or may not be something out there on YouTube. <laughs> wow. Okay, look up for <laughs> Stephanie Rodriguez no, tap dancing on. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know what the name would be, but look mm -hmm. it up. Stephanie Rodriguez tap dance extraordinaire. Yeah. Thanks for joining us for hey. this episode of Frazzled, and have a good afternoon. <laughs>